All right, you got RPG Maker 2003 and want to get started. The first thing you do is you open RPG Maker, click project, new project. No, because I like sorting things and so will you. You will like sorting things. Trust me. The first thing you want to do is actually go and make yourself a folder for your RPG Maker projects. And in that folder, you make yourself a folder for the exports, for the project itself, and for the assets. This will be really, really useful later when you want to try to find your assets and basically have everything in a way that you can easily find it and overview it. It will be especially important if you're going to get assets from elsewhere, say downloading different sound effects or get already pre-made templates and assets. You will need something to note down your sources. You will need some way to keep together where you got what from. Doesn't matter how you do it, it can be an Excel sheet at a table, it can be a Word document. If you're lazy like me, then all you use is just right click and make yourself a new TXT document. If this is usually how it looks with me, then I have all the document with all the sources of my sound effects, for example. But you will definitely want to use that so you can find the things again. Because now, when you go and make a new project, it will ask you how you want to name the folder, what the game title is, and it wants you to put in the project base path, which you then can just copy from your folder and put in down here. Trust me, it's going to make your life so much easier. The amount of the disappeared RPG Maker projects on my computer, it's unknown because I can't find them anymore. <laughs> It is, it is gone. It is burr. <laughs> Start labeling them before you lose them like me. So now you have a new project and are greeted with a wall of blue. The first thing we are going to do here is we are going to show you how to delete maps because we are not afraid to start from an empty template. You have a few important sections here. You have this main screen where you can see your current level or map. You have the top bar with these tiny little symbols. You have your tile set here to the left. And you have this boy here, the, the down left corner, that's where you'll see your maps. You can see that we are on map 001 right now, but we don't want to be on map 001. So we click on it, right click it, and click delete. There, be gone. But now we don't have a map. Um, yes. So uh, now we don't have a map, but we want a map. It's a serious conundrum. So this way now I can teach you how to make new maps. For that you just right click, on your map tree, wherever you want to put a map, right click and then you'll get the option to make a new map. If you do that, this thing here will pop up. We'll go into more detail of all this stuff in another video, but all you have to think about for now is the name. The name is what will show down here in the map tree and it's going to make your life easier if you label things correctly. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> and hit OK. And this tutorial is just going to get you started. To get you started, you will need to choose where to start. Can you see these three colored bubbles up there? The three colored squares. We have green, blue, and yellow. To get your game started, you want to click on the yellow one. That brings you into the event editing mode. Right click anywhere on the screen and you will have this tiny menu pop up. You will want to set player starting to position. This turquoise-ish green thing is where your player will start out when you hit play. So let's hit play. To run and test your game, you have to hit this tiny little play button up here. You're a character on water. Since we can't walk over water, we'll need earth. To exit testing mode, you can either hit escape, to title, end the game, get your ears blasted and click shut down. Or if you're an impatient person like me, you just hit alt F4. Great, you can't walk on water. As the popular philosopher of curiosity said, there are some things you can walk on and some things you can't. So we will get you something where you can walk on. Go to the green square and choose a walkable tile. It's not immediately obvious, some of these things are walls, some of these things are floor. You can never go wrong with grass. Select the pen tool up here, and then you can draw some sort of uh, thing. Yes. No, there's be there are better ways to word this. How about, with the pen tool you can make the earth rise from the depths of the ocean. And if you playtest this thing again, your ears will be blasted into oblivion by this title screen. Again. But now you can walk. <laughs> now you can traverse the tiny piece of land that you made yourself. Though make sure that your player character starts on land, otherwise he starts on water and he can't walk on water.
You know how to start your game, you know how to put down land, which means now you will spend roughly half an hour to try and make your own map. Try out the tile set that you have down here, put down things, experiment. That's an order! <laughs> Commence experiment! You can use the pen tool to draw single type, you can use the rectangle to draw rectangle shaped things, you can use the circle to draw circle shaped things, and you can use the fill tool to fill an area with a single type of tile. And once you're done shaping the terrain of your little piece of land, you'll go on the second layer, the one with the blue border, and you can put down stuff. Again, experiment. Trees, bigger trees, towers, signs, pillars, closets, an army of pianos, I will talk about these more in the next tutorial, but I'm trying to keep these short. And most learning will be learning by doing. And don't forget to make folders. We want to sort things. I have recorded my voice. I have to do editing of the voice. Ah! Ah! Thank you.